Here we have uh, my 3.3 .3 that I'm putting into my Traxxas T-Max and um, the one-way bearing was not working properly so I've gotten another one. Well, I had it apart. I went ahead and pulled the backing plate off. I cleaned everything with nitrous clean nitro cleaner and this, even the screws. And then I used Birchwood Casey gun oil on the metal parts and then clean up this surface here very good and this surface very here good so it's nice and oil free and dry and clean so that that way the sealant adheres properly make sure you clean all the screws with solvent or um, nitro cleaner and make sure you use blue loctite and all of them you want to put a ring of sealant silicone sealant right around here real lightly brush it on so that'll seal that up back there okay now I've, in, I've installed my starter plate, put lock plate on all the screws. And the little trick here is to drill a small hole in the bottom there. That's going to let the oil run out if any oil should get in there, which sometimes it does. It's just the nature of the hobby. So that'll help the oil run out, which will make your one way last a little bit longer. I'm going to install this new exhaust pipe here. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some more of this uh, the silicone sealant. I'm just going to put a little bit on the end of a, uh, a Q-tip with the the, the cube pulled off and just go around this here with it real good and make sure you lock tight those screws as well to hold that in place alright so we're ready to put the motor back in then I decided might as well replace the wire harness and the glow plug with brand new ones since everything else is nice keep that nice so we got this pulled on us, unscrew that. If you gotta pull the Loctite out, you gotta re-Loctite it though. So I'll have to re-Loctite that when I pull it out. And then I'll put it back together again. We'll see where we're at from there. So for the radio, I got this little tiny guy here. It's a three channel receiver. And I have this guy here, which is a, um, a three channel transmitter. I'm not sure if you can see that, but this is channel zero for the T-Max here. Then you have model, so you can, you have up to ten different models you can put on it. And you can adjust your trim, you have dual rate, exponential, automatic braking system on channel two, end point adjuster, servo reversing, and you can name your models there. Now, let's say you're driving it around and you start messing with your steering trim. Without looking at any of this, you just push your steering trim button and it automatically switches the steering trim. And then you can either use your buttons like a traditional remote does or you can use the dial to change the steering trim. And then you're like, oh, I want to change my throttle trim. Bam, right there's your throttle trim. And then you just push this in and it goes back to not being adjusted. There's a bind button here. This is a back button an end button or you push that in and it goes back out again um, and then here we have the um, DR I'm not sure what that is uh, third channel trim and the third channel button to switch on the third channel of course steering and uh, power buttons on the back here and then this here is where you hook it into your uh, computer or a charger a charger, a computer in this one, charger in this one. And what's cool about this here is it comes with, but it comes with the CD to put in your computer to run a simulator. So if you look here um, on the box, you can see the different tracks that you can drive on the simulator. And I also got an extra receiver for another model that you might have. So you can use that in another model. So that's pretty cool there. Yeah, so that's that.